Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we are featuring Big Sis Enya today in terms of gameplay, in terms of what I mean by best friend of Yao or Yao's best friend. So I'll explain all of that and we'll have a breakdown of her skills, weapon and also the logistics ideal for her. So in terms of our recommended uh, weapons and logistics, uh, we'll start off with logistics here. So this is going to be blacksmith squad. So active seal damage by 16. Definitely you will have to go with the orange tier, which is active skill damage of 24. But uh, for three officers here, th there's an additional damage or skill damage by 32% for these elemental types. If you go with the orange tier, which is Twilight Squad, again, it's going to be 24% instead of 16. After dealing damage with an active skill, the target's resistance to the type of damage decreases by, uh, by 16% for 5 seconds. So definitely very useful when you have Enya as Yao support because um, Yao will be dealing more damage, especially if resistance is going to be down a bit. So there you go for logistics. Next up is the weapon, Lucky Times. I do have this right now. This is a decent weapon. This is nice for um, for damage dealing because, again, this has a 12 ammo capacity plus deals decent damage. Compatibility is not a problem as well. Um, after a shot hits a weak spot, the next bullet gains aptitude dealing additional thermal damage to 15% of attack which is actually nice if you are using Enya as a primary operative or shooter but rarely would you do that so try to go with prismatic igniter this one however has only six ammo capacity but you don't get it for that compatibility is 84.95 you can grow that to 100 percent once you level it up this is what you need when the support skill is used Deployed operative will gain attack bonus equal to 13.2% of weapon weapon user's attack for 15 seconds. So this, if you have any as support and you use the support skill, this applies to Yao, which is an additional 13.2 of the weapon user's attack for 15 seconds, which is actually nice support to have for Yao. So let's move on to the other things that we should discuss. So we're done with weapon, we'll move on to Neuronic. So ideally, the, if you are only going to use her as a support, you definitely would want to go with the support cluster here. So Nature's Gifts is extend a uh, sticky mud ball to 10 seconds. Definitely you will need this if you're not, if you want to have more time in aiming for the target that has a uh, mud ball, you will want to have the extension of 10 seconds. Otherwise, if you don't get this, this is going only going to be at five seconds uh, default. Next up is also Nature's Gift. Uh, Sticky Mud Mall will now simultaneously take effect on original target and two closest targets within five meters. This one is also nice. Apart from the duration, you'll be able to snipe the ones. Um, if you let's say, for example, you 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 throw this out, then you have three targets with Sticky Mud Mall. You can actually snipe each of them uh, consecutively. Provided that your mud ball is actually at 10 seconds. So so they will be there up to the 10 second period. So again, these two will play off each other. Never mind this um, flower of youth. You, will, you don't really need this if you will be using uh, Enya for a support only uh, exclusive. So moving on. So manifestation, you won't need much of manifestation. Enya is actually good with even if... She's at manifestation zero. For logistics, we already discussed this. So again, this decreases the resistant type of the damage of your active skill. So again, perfect for um, perfect for Enya and for Yao. And for your uh, skills, this is the one that we are going to stay more on. So for her standard uh, skill, Flower of Youth, this one I've had a lot of um, you know um, criticism. <clears throat> you 
in terms of how difficult this skill is. But let's read through. So Enya evolves backward, throwing multiple plump buds in front. When the plump buds hit a target on the ground, an explosion is triggered, dealing thermal damage and knocking the targets up into the air. The interrupt the interrupts the target special uh, skill for 10 seconds. Damage dealt to the targets hit by multiple explosions is reduced by 50%. Okay, take note. Again, I agree this is a difficult skill to use, but you will this is also handy to interrupt the target special skill and knocking the targets up into the air not really for dealing multiple you know um multiple um tremendous amount of damage but definitely this will come in handy for the interrupt so next up let's uh, move first to the ultimate skill so enya uh, it's called feathered serpent enya bombards a fan shaped area in front of her with mechanicals, a mechanicals, mechanical serpent once dealing thermal damage. When the bombardment ends, the mechanical serpent throws 30 snake feathers to pursue targets, each dealing thermal damage. So passive, each uh, shot and your hits, one stack of rich lights is consumed to release a snake feather which pursue the target, restores a stack of rich lights every 5 seconds, max 10 stacks. This one, I also think um, has little damage this is this is more of multiple little damages for her for her ultimate so again um i wouldn't you know worry about this if you're going to use um enya only as a support exclusive to yao or to other operatives that you plan to use as your primary and this is the deos alignment thermal damage of enya increased by 70 percent for each 100 alignment index increases an extra 2. So that is just for her. This applies to her neuronics. Then the last skill that we're going to discuss is obviously nature's gifts. So this one unleashes a one sticky mud on one target in front, uh, which explodes after 5 seconds. So the default is 5. Since we upgraded it, it's going to be a 10. Then the next one is um, instead of one target, this will take effect to a primary target plus the closest two targets within five meters okay um any shot that hits um when sticky ball is in is on the target any shot that hits will immediately detonate the sticky ball mud ball uh dealing extra thermal damage once take note of that that is why once you mark a specific target with the um, sticky ball sticky mud ball then that is the time that you should shoot it because detonation damage of sticky mud ball is going to be at 30% of the shot's actual damage. So imagine Yao um, shooting like, for example, at, at uh, 10,000 damage, you will gain an extra 3,000 damage because of sticky mud ball. Explosion of the sticky mud ball, if you don't shoot it and it explodes, it's going to be at 65% of attack plus 89, which is um, decent enough. But again, for maximum effect, you should be able to you uh, detonate um, any sticky mud ball, which would increase your um, damage output for a specific target. Okay, that is it, guys. So basically, uh, Enya is going to be, I think, one of the best um, supports for Yao. If you just lower her, uh, if you try to lower her cooldown for nature's gift, the cooldown right now is 15 seconds. But if there's a possibility that you could lower this down, then therefore you could spam this skill as well. Aside from Yao's, um, what do you call this? Yao's uh, standard skill. So again, guys, that is it. So um, if you see. Um, if you have her build, you will likely going to be, uh, sorry, if you have Yao built, it is likely that you have to um, customize um, support for Yao. Um, make, it a, make it a point that you include Enya as part of her regular support, especially um, if, you have, um, if you have bosses that you need to take down quick. And we need to deal a, a damage quick as well. So that is it, guys. So hopefully you um, were able to like this video. Again, if you find this informative, please do 
put a like to this video and don't forget guys to subscribe because this helps my channel a lot so thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here